Hold on to your tails and get ready to channel your inner H2O just add water because we're talking about mermaids and in particular six things you likely didn't know about them. Well hopefully because otherwise this video is a lie now isn't it? And with that let's dive into it. First up is that mermaids are exposed by the ordinary conch shell. This object is part of the seashell collection and it can be found by beachcombing for seashells. Now this might look like your ordinary conch shell that you can blow into and make a noise, but in reality it's so much more. Okay, I'm overselling it, it's a little bit more. When a sim blows into this conch shell, then if there are any mermaids in the surrounding area, they'll head on over to your sims, flap their arms and hands and make a weird kind of dolphin noise. It's kind of cute but kind of creepy, but it's also a great way to expose any mermaids while they're on land. Moving on to a quick one, which is that mermaids can talk to fish in fish bowls or aquariums and this will raise your sim's social need. Did we effectively replace the need for sim friends with fish? Yes, yes we did. And we're okay with that. On to number 3 now, which will require the Spa Day Game Pack, and it's that hydrating masks have an extra special effect on mermaid sims. Hydrating masks can be bought and applied from the Dock Suites fridge, and as usual, they'll help your sim to clear negative moodlets. But the real win kicks in when a mermaid removes this mask. When they do this, they'll gain a 12 hour happy moodlet called Hydrated, which has a powerful effect. This will max your mermaid sim's hydration need and keep it maxed for the duration of the moodlet. As mermaids use their hydration need bar as a sort of currency to use their powers, it means that while this is active, your mermaid will be able to spam their powers endlessly without needing to take a breather to recharge their hydration need. It's something that I found really helpful and actually quite fun to make use of, especially if you like making use of mermaid powers on the regular. Next up is that mermaids can't snorkel or use ladders in water. If you try and snorkel as a mermaid, then the option will be greyed out and it's replaced with a message telling you that it's a taboo subject. As for ladders, well, considering your mermaid sim has a tail, they simply won't be able to climb up a ladder from the water. I know that we were all hoping that their upper arm strength would get them there, but sadly it will not. So this is just something handy to keep in mind when building. Number 5 is that despite their tail stopping them from climbing ladders, it does come with a huge benefit being that mermaids will swim faster than all other sims in water by a long shot, regardless of their fitness level. Even if a regular sim has level 10 fitness, they won't be able to keep up with a mermaid in water. No they will not. And on to the final thing that you hopefully didn't know, which is that mermaids can almost cheat high needs with one of their powers as long as the mermaid doesn't have the good trait. If a mermaid is swimming with another sim, then they'll be able to perform the siren's call power on them, which supposedly costs 100 hydration, but in reality doesn't really. This will see your mermaid sim pull that sim underwater, after which you'll drain the target sim's needs to be deep into the red, but in return your mermaid sim's needs will all be be significantly boosted. It's hugely helpful and also offsets the hydration cost by boosting it right after. It should be noted that if a mermaid has the good trait, then they won't be able to perform this power. So avoid that if you want to make use of this. A quick bonus before finishing up is that mermaids can both sleep and sunbathe on water, and they're also able to call over the Azua dolphin whenever they're in the ocean or a significant body of water in Sulani. Immediately upon calling this dolphin over and talking to them, your mermaid sim will find that they have a maxed friendship soulmate status with them. So yes, just by being a mermaid, you get a dolphin best friend. And with that, we've reached the end. That's six things you hopefully didn't know about mermaids. If you have any fun mermaid facts of your own, then please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.